Rogers Show. Starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. As I can figure out, that new land I bought ends right about here. Yeah, but the way a riverbed changes, how can you tell? Well, the only sure way is to get a surveyor out here and find out if I'm in this county, the next county, or no man's land. <laughs> what is it, Bullet? <laughs> he seems to be worried about something. Yeah. <laughs> Let's follow me. Hope it isn't a jackrabbit. <laughs> For now, old timer. We'll take you back to Mineral City where there's plenty of feed and water. Has he said anything yet, Dale? No, Roy. He's still unconscious. We we'll better get him back to town. I'll hold him on trigger. You lead the girl. Anything I can do? Oh, Pat, you're just in time. I am? Yeah, take this little burro to the stable and give her some feed and water, will you? I look more like a hero than a stable boy. Well, you'll be her hero if you'll take her to the stable. Oh, yeah. Come on, laughing girl. Let's go get some vittles. He was tied up so tight the circulation's cut off. He's suffering from exposure, thirst, and shock from a beating. I can make one good guess who did it. Hiya, Sheriff. Hello, Roy. Dale told me how you found him. Do you know who he is yet? Now, wait a minute. He ain't strong enough to talk yet. And if you're going to ask him a lot of fool questions, I won't be responsible for him. Okay, Doc, hold your horses. Now, when you think he's well enough to talk, you let me know. Well, it won't be before tomorrow. Let me know, too, Doc. All right. Well, I guess I'm about the fourth surveyor they kicked out of town. One man disappeared completely. Another one's still in the hospital, never will be right. Well, Mr. Carroll, you're the first victim that's turned up in my territory. And I aim to do something about it. Well, just a minute, Sheriff. Until that outlaw territory is surveyed, you have no jurisdiction. Yeah, that's right. It's a sort of a no man's land. Well, it appears to me like them outlaws are squatting on their rights and thumbing their noses at us. Well, we gotta do something about it. Say, Roy, you got a stake in this. Doesn't that new ranch land of yours extend right down into the riverbed? Yes, but I don't know how far in, Sheriff. The only way to find out is to have it surveyed. Well, you'll have to clean out that rat's nest first. Then let's clean it out. But how? Sheriff, I got an idea while Mr. Carroll was talking. Listen, suppose you get a posse together. Pat and I will ride out in front. All right, man, let's mount up. Go down, oh, oh, just have patience. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Pat? Did you forget how to ride a horse? <laughs> Pat's been chauffeuring that Jeep so long, he's forgotten all about horses. Yeah, and I wish I could keep on forgetting about them, too. 
All I had to do was this jeep and get in and turn on the key. Then get out and get under. Yeah, you spend more time pushing that jeep than it spends pulling you, boy. Let him get rusty. Looks like we got company. Jack, that's the buck. Got you over a barrel. Now, what's your next miss? Hey, Rusty, a couple of men heading for town. Looks like they're being chased by a posse. Well, they better not ride in here. They'll get a hot reception. Come on, boys. Well, you get away this time. But you better not try to come back. That was a close one. You're telling me. Who are you? Who wants to know? Look, stranger, you came here. Nobody sent for you. Don't mind my friend here. He's a mite high strung. Tell you the truth, we're both feeling high strung right now. And well, what about? Well, didn't you? A sheriff and a posse were after you. Oh. Well, keep talking. Well, I reckon it's because we stopped a stage on its way to Mineral City. Yeah? We didn't stop it to catch a ride. How much you get off the coach? That's just the trouble. That's why my pal here is so sore. Just as we had them all lined up and reaching for the sky, why, well, Sheriff and the posse come along, so we had to run for it. Oh, that's tough. How come the Sheriff came along so conveniently? Seems like he found the man half dead tied to a burrow. He was out looking for the men who did it. Oh, I see. How about getting better acquainted? I'm Rusty Madison, these are my men, and this is my town. Any stranger shows up, he plays my rules. You get it? Now, there's plenty of room up over the saloon. Get your saddlebags, make yourself comfortable. Chow's in an hour. And don't be late. Cook's temperamental. Come on. What do you think of those fellows? They're smart hombres. Cagey, too. It would surprise me a bit if they did hold up that coach and get away with plenty of money. Yeah, maybe we better take a look at that saddlebag. Let's do it now. No, no, when they're not watching. If they're telling me the truth, I got some plans for them. Yeah, if. Look, Jim, it's up to you to find out. Me? Yeah. Suppose you mosey into Mineral City and find out if there was a robbery and how much the boys got. Maybe we won't have to look in those saddlebags after all, huh? Good idea, Rusty. I'll start now. Okay. Hmm. Jim, take a look at that bank layout while you're at it. Okay, Rusty. I think I'll take this one. <laughs> wow. On second thought, I think I'll take this one. You act like a cow while he owns his honeymoon. Doesn't make any difference which one you pick. I don't think you're going to do any sleeping around here. Well, we put it over, didn't we? Well, didn't we? I don't know. Rusty's pretty smart. But at least we're safe while he's thinking it over. You know, the way you talk, I ain't going to get a wink of sleep tonight. I'll sing you a lullaby. Hey, I wonder where we eat around here. I don't know, but let's get washed up and find out. What's the matter with him? Boys, what's the matter with you? Come away from there. I guess he's smelling like a dog. I don't have a dog. Come on, get away. Bullet. 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 I wouldn't do that if I were you, stranger. Bullet, you get away and go over there and lie down. Do you hear me? And you stay. Don't like to have dogs barking at me. By the way, uh, when does the stage come through? It's already been through. Well, when do I catch the next one? Tomorrow morning. Guess I'll have to spend the night. How about some more of this coffee? Coming up.
Come on, Bullet. Let me take a look at that stranger you didn't like. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Jim. I hear tell the stage got in late today. Went into some trouble? Nope. You hear it wrong. Wasn't it held up? No. Who's been telling you them lies? Stage come in just same as usual. Passengers got off same as usual. And old Sam the driver just as cantankerous as usual. <laughs> You sure nothing happened to that stage? Well, now, if you don't believe me, ask the sheriff. He'll tell you there ain't been a holdup in a long time. Thanks, Soapy. I'll be seeing you. Bullet, listen. Did you get a set of Roy off that fellow? <coughs> you did, didn't you? Roy and Pat. Listen, you and I are going to go find out if they're in trouble. Come on, boy. Let's go. I wonder where Dale's going in such a hurry. lady from the restaurant. Let's have that gun. Give it here. Quick! Oh, lady, your mutt got away, but you won't. What's the idea of following me? I wasn't following you. I saw you watching when Sophie was talking to me. Maybe you heard too much. Oh, I wasn't listening to you. I didn't hear anything. I was just taking my dog for a walk. And now I suppose you're walking the horse. It's a free country. Suppose you keep me company to no man's land. Why? Come on, get going. I do nothing of this side, Pete. You sent these two birds up here, didn't you? What are you and Pete doing up in this room? Like you said. Like you said. I mean, uh, Pete and me wanted to take a look through them saddlebags. Oh, you did, did you? And who told you to do it? Nobody, nobody, Rusty. It was our own idea. A fine time to start a fight. 
We're all set to drive into Mineral City and pull a job, and you two got to start scrapping. I'm sorry, fellas. Sometimes my boys get a bit ambitious. What's in your saddlebag's your own business. That's okay. Now, no hard feelings, I hope. I like my boys to work together smooth. No hard feelings. Good. Now, you two set to ride on that bank job with us? Sure. Let's go. Oh, I'm so sorry. My foot must have slipped. Uh, 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 uh. No hard feelings. <laughs> Tell us something. They don't suppose Dale's in trouble. You know, they left together. We better get the men together and follow him. Uh, fellas, chances are we'll meet Jim on the way. If not, we'll wait for him at the old riverbed. He's got the information we want. When we get it, we go to work. Let's ride! like Jim got himself a woman. What's he want to get a woman mixed up in this for? Well, you know Jim, boss. Always a ladies man. Yeah, but this is no time for a thing like that. Come on, let's go. Crazy? What do we want with a woman? Now, wait a minute, Rusty. She knows too much. And so do those two strangers the sheriff chased into our town. What do you mean? It's a frame. There never was a stage holdup. Those two men are working for the law. Take them, boy! How oh, many of you go for your guns? Turn around. Go ahead, Dale. Go on, man.
Well, you got him, Roy. He's all yours, Sheriff. We'll get the rest of them, too. Good. Come on, get going. I want to thank you and Dale for everything you've done. You better thank Bullet. He's the one who really found you. Hey, Roy, I think I'll ride out with Tom. You mean you really like to ride horses now? Well, I thought maybe I could help him out in his surveying. Well, what about Nellie Bell? Don't you think she'll be jealous? Listen, you couldn't get me off a horse if you tried. Besides, Nellie Bell ain't got no brakes to speak of, and she'll get you way out on the desert and stop. And, well, if she just... Oh, oh Nellie Bell! No, 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 stay! Happy trails to you. 